give you the best of your service. He'll give you bright canyon in you. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. My time is just about over. Thank you all for the support this morning in which we could pray and see the face of God. Thanks, thank everyone for their cooperation this morning. We are just here to build up the body of Christ together so that there be the glory of God may be revealing us. Praise God. Uh, this time I'm going to welcome um, our speaker this morning to the, uh, the platform, um, Pastor Kenyatta Mac McLeish, uh, somebody I've known over the years. We have worshiped together before and all that. I've known him for, for years now. Hallelujah, man of God. At uh, this time, I'm going to welcome him to come into the room at this time, come on the platform, and he'll be bringing the word of God to us at this time. Welcome, Pastor Kenyatta. God bless you, sir, in Jesus' name. Thank you. Grace and peace be multiplied to you, my father's children, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Truly, it's a privilege and honor to be on this morning. Um, God is truly amazing and he is wonderful. I won't be before you too long. Amen. Greetings to Prophetess Moulton and um, all of the co hosts. I greet you all in the name of the Lord Jesus. I'm going to ask you just to pray with me this morning um, as I avail myself to the Lord so that he can uh, speak to us today in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. Father, we honor you for all of your goodness, for your mercy and your grace. We thank you, O oh God, for your loving kindness on towards us. We thank you, Father, for looking beyond our faults and seeing our needs today. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ that your sovereign and divine will be done among us. We're asking you this morning, dear Father, to throw your weight around. We're asking you this morning, dear Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, to empower your people to lift us up and cause us to recognize the authority by which we are called, the authority by which you, O oh God, hallelujah, has lifted us and you have placed purpose and destiny in us. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that you consecrate this line, that you sanctify us as a people individually and collectively. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, hallelujah, that the angel of the Lord will begin to move concerning us this morning and to bring on, to bring and reveal, oh God, the intent of purpose in this day. For thy word declare, this is the day that you have made. We rejoice and we are glad in it. In the name of Jesus Christ, almighty God, hallelujah, use my tongue. Use my ears, use my lips, use the entirety of my being, hallelujah, and for your glory and for your purpose. We bind every plots and plans of the enemy. We're asking you, Father, to let us not leave here the way that we came, but let us leave here empowered as you shatter the kingdom of darkness in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Shall we praise the Lord, everybody? Glory to God. Shall we magnify the name of Jesus? Thank you, Jesus, if you're able to. Amen. Just praise God in the chat. Amen. As customary for when I am on, I'm going to ask, amen, at least one or two of you to be in the room so that I um, don't feel like I'm speaking to myself. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, it's truly an honor to be back on this morning. Amen. To my sister, I greet you in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord has been good. Amen. And I am so elated uh, to be here today. A bit nervous, but the Lord is good. Anyhow, amen. Amen. We praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Can I have a person back in the room? One, 
to my brothers on Minister Anthony. Amen. Um, so I, I feel like I am, amen, in the midst of the congregation. Praise the Lord. Shall we praise the Lord Jesus? Amen. Come on, lift up your voice, anybody. Come on, open your mouth and praise Jesus. Praise the Lord. 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 Praise the Thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, the Lord is good. Praise Jesus. We are going to go to Amen. First Samuel the 30th chapter. First Samuel chapter 30. I'm going to read a few verses in your hearing. Amen. And we are going to get into the word. Praise Jesus. And it came to pass when David and his men were come to Ziglag on the third day that the Amalekites had invaded the south. And <clears throat> Ziglag and Smith and Ziglag and burned it with fire. Thank you, Father and had taken the woman captives that were therein, they slew not any, either great nor small, but carried them away and went on their way. So David and his men came to the city, and behold, it was burned with fire, and their wives and their sons and their daughters were taken captive. Then David and the people that were with him lifted up their voice and wept until they had no more power to weep. Mm -hmm. And David's two wives were taken captive. Uh, Ahinoa, the Jesuitess, and Abigail, the wife of Nabal, the Carmelite. And David was greatly distressed for the people spake of stoning him because the soul of all the people were grieved, every man of every man for his son and for his daughters. But David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. And David said to Abitha the priest, uh, Himelech's son, I pray thee, bring me hither. The ephod and Abithar brought thither the ephod to David. And David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, Pursue, for thou shalt surely overtake them and without fail recover all. So David went, he and the 600 men that were with him. And came to the brook, the shore, where those that were left behind stayed. But David pursued he and four hundred men, for two hundred aboard behind, which were so faint that they could not go over 
the brook Beshore. And they found an Egyptian in the field and brought him to David and gave him bread. And he did eat and they made him drink water. And they gave him a piece of a cake of figs into clusters of raisin. And when he had eaten, his spirit came again to him. For he had eaten no bread, nor drink any water three days and three nights. And David said unto him, To whom belongest thou? And whence art thou? And he said, I am a young man of Egypt, servant to an Amalekite. And my master left me because three days are gone, I fell sick. We made an invasion upon the south of the Sheretite and upon the coast which belongeth to Judah and upon the south of Caleb and we burned Ziglag with fire. And David said to him, Canest thou bring me down to this company? And he said, Swear unto me by God that thou wilt neither kill me nor deliver me into the hands of my master, and I will bring thee down to this company. And when he had brought him down, behold, there spread among, there spread abroad upon all the earth, eating and drinking and dancing because of the great spoil that they had taken out of the land of the Philistines and out of the land of Judah. And David smote them from the twilight even unto the evening, the evening of the next day. And there escaped not a man of them save four hundred young men which rode upon camels and fled. And David recovered all that the Amalekites had carried away. And David rescued his two wives and there was nothing lacking to them, neither their small nor great, neither sons nor daughters, neither spoil or anything that they had taken to them. David recovered all. Amen. Here ended 21. And David came to the 200 men which were so faint that they could not follow David, whom they had made also to abide at the brook Meshur. And they went forth to meet David and to meet the people that were with him. And David came near to the people. He saluted them. Then answered all the wicked men and men of uh, Belial, of those that went with David and said, because they went not with us, we will not give them aught of the spoil that we have recovered, save to every man his wife, his children, that they may lead them away and depart. Then David said, ye shall not do so, my brethren, with that which the Lord has given us, who had preserved us and delivered the company that came against us into our hands. Here ended a portion of the reading of the word of the Lord, and we say thanks be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Truly the Lord is good. There is a word from the Lord. He woke me up about uh, four o'clock my time. Amen. And can you hear me? I'm about four o'clock my time. And yes, go ahead, sir. Go begin ahead. To download this word. Thank you um, into my spirit. Greeting to Dr. Um, Monica Jones. Grace and peace to you, to um, everyone. Greetings in Jesus' name. Um, if you are taking notes, you can write um, on the theme we're dealing with men this morning. And it is important that we as men understand our position and know that we are not at a disadvantage, but we are um, 
at an advantage. Amen. Men emerge. Men emerge. You shall partake with us. You shall partake with us. You shall partake with us. Amen. Um, I declare that I pray with power. I pray with passion. I pray with understanding. I am a lethal weapon in the hand of my God. God is looking for men that's willing and able to function in the midst of adversity. We are born as men to function in adverse situation. One of our greatest advantage is our ability to adapt to environment that's not favorable unto us. Amen. A man that has a plan and is self-driven is a man that's able to take any thing that is thrown at them and use it to his advantage and know that society according to what it looks like that men we are at a disadvantage and it looks like whatever environment um, we come up against or we are born into we succumb to it but that's not the design of God for our life. Amen. When you know that you are born with the advantage, even though where you was born does not depict, Lord have mercy, that greatness is in you. Hallelujah. I'm here to tell you that you become a major threat to the kingdom of darkness and a major asset to the body of Christ. Somebody declare, My I God. am a major asset to the I body of Christ. I am a major Christ. asset to the body of Christ. Hallelujah. Uh, society, amen, whether you're from, you were born in the ghetto, whether you were born, amen, um, in the rural area, glory to God, whether you were born, amen, with a wooden spoon or silver spoon in your mouth, amen, the way how society is, hallelujah, it is designed to cripple your purpose and stifle your creativity in this land, glory to God, but God made us as man, designed us, amen, to emerge as great leaders and come forth with great power. When you are able to see yourself as an asset and not a liability, you recognize that your existence has value. Let me say it one more time. When you are able to see yourself as an asset and not a liability, you recognize that your existence has value. Meaning wherever you go, glory to God, and whatever situation you encounter, amen, it is not at your disadvantage, but it becomes an advantage for you. Come on, somebody, declare, I am an asset. Hallelujah. I am not a liability. Glory to God. I will not yes, add, hallelujah, to the downfall of my brother, but I will aid my brother to overcome. Come on, somebody. The devil himself... The devil himself knows that a man, a man that recognize himself in God is a man that is unstoppable. This yeah, is the master. reason why the adversary, the adversary, the adversary, the adversary is fighting you so much. I know there are many women that is on here, but can I just talk to the man? Uh, can I just talk to your son? Can I just talk to your nephew? Glory to God. Can I just speak to your husband? Uh, hallelujah. Mm. Can I just, and for you that have a baby daddy, can I just talk to your baby daddy? Uh, hallelujah. The one that you call good for nothing. The one that you put your mouth on. The one that you beat down. The one that you get your brothers to come 
Rama and be lifted. And I talk to you this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What the enemy, uh, uh, what he desires to do is to get us, uh, hallelujah, in a place where we are unable to see our value, where we are unable to recognize, uh, hallelujah, that the hand of God is on us, where we are unable to recognize uh, that we are an asset, we are not liability, hallelujah. If he can get us to see uh, ourselves in a negative manner, amen, then, hallelujah, glory to God, we will never become what God has ordained for our lives to become. Yes. That's why you see a lot of young men, a lot of men, hallelujah, they are moving from one woman to the next. They're standing My on God. one street corner to the next. They are unstable. They become a nomad. Are you hearing me? They have no abiding city. They are unstable. They father one child here. They're going to father another child here. Hallelujah. Why? Because the enemy is trying hallelujah, to distort purpose and distort their destiny in the name of jesus uh, they don't see themselves uh, as asset but they see themselves as liability but i'm here to speak to your mind this morning i'm here to speak to your spirit glory to god and to declare to you that god made you to be a leader he called you to be a trendsetter he called you to be a levite he called you amen to be a standard bearer he called you hallelujah to be a father of many nations he called you amen to set the standard and the precedent for your home for your nation for your community are you hearing me somebody come on and declare i am not a liability i am an asset in the kingdom of god of God. Amen. The devil himself, let me say it again, the devil himself knows that a man that recognizes himself in God is a man that is unstoppable, is a man that is self-driven, a man yes. that is self-determined, a man that is determined is one that will take a hit regroup, uh, re-strategize, and dominate. Let me say that again. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. A man that is determined is one that will take a hit. He will regroup. He will strategize and he will dominate. Listen to me. It is, a, it is, it is, it is, it is, it is a terrible thing. Mm-hmm. When you come against a man that have a purpose, are you hearing me? My somebody? God, it is, it is, it is a death sentence. When you come against a man that have a plan, glory to God, Amen. Jesus. When a man have a plan. Glory to God. It doesn't matter if it's raining. It doesn't matter if their house burned down. It doesn't matter, hallelujah, if they have a a fifth grade education. It doesn't matter, amen, hallelujah, if they went through a divorce. It doesn't matter if sickness tries to hit their body. If they have a plan, hallelujah, they're able to execute their plan from their their bed of affliction. They're able to execute their plans, amen, even when the house is burned down because if they build it before, they are able to rebuild it back again. Yes. Are you hearing me, somebody? Uh, hallelujah. A plan says that I have vision. Uh, a plan says, amen, I have hey, insight Lama. for my net. Uh, glory mm. be to God. Uh, the enemy don't want you to know uh, that favor, uh, that grace, uh, hallelujah, that power is on your life and that God has given you an ad- Advantage in a disadvantaged world. Hallelujah. Yes. You can and you shall emerge on top. You shall come out without Hallelujah. any scars. Glory be to God. The enemy has been playing with our mind. He has been telling us, Hallelujah, you will not come out. He has been telling us, Hallelujah, you've been listening Liar to the, the lies, but I'm here to tell you that the hand of God is on you. And God has 
has called you and designed you to walk in power and to dominate. When God spoke and created the earth, he made man, he made you ruler, he made you to dominate, he made you superior over all animals, over all kingdoms. He told you to rule. Somebody declare, yes. it's my season to rule. I am entering into my season of rapid dominance. Come on, open your mouth I, and uh, say, yes, Lord, in the yes, name of Lord. Jesus. A man that has the ability to use an adverse situation for his advantage is a dangerous man. Why adversity? Why adversity is not uh, adversity is not designed to bring out the best in anyone. Uh, hallelujah. But when you are able to see adversity as an advantage, you have already won the battle. Uh, come on, somebody. Uh, hallelujah to God. I was listening. Uh, hallelujah to a friend of mine uh, who is a teacher, a preacher. Uh, and he says, uh, hallelujah, when a person declares, uh, when they look at a situation where we're, they, they declare and they say, no, 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 I, I, I don't lose, I win or I learn. He says, no, 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 you got to change that because, uh, hallelujah, in order for you to learn, you got to lose. Yes. Let me say that one more time. In order for you to learn, you got to lose. Hallelujah. Because some of us, hallelujah, we are we become so so pompous in our ways, and we feel like nobody can tell us anything. Lord have mercy. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. God. How is it that you are going to learn? Hallelujah. Are you going to grow if you haven't had any losses? Hallelujah. There's oh, a writer, the song that says you've got to lose some to win some. Come on, somebody. In order for you to gain an advantage, you have to know that you are in a disadvantage disadvantaged place. Are you hearing me, somebody? Can I pull up somebody in the Bible that was at a disadvantage? Job ahead, was sir. at Go a ahead. place of disadvantage. Hallelujah to God. He, even though he was at a place of advantage, he came into areas of disadvantage. When his kids, hallelujah, died, when he lost everything, he Preach. was at an advantage because now he reckoned Recognize that his source and his ability came from God. And when a man recognized that it's no longer him that lives, but it's the mm. Christ that lives within him, you can bounce back from any dead situation. Preach. When you know that the resurrection and the life is in you, you yes. can look at any dead situation. You can stand up over your own grave and call back your spirit. Mighty call back God. Your dreams, call back your vision, glory, call back your dead mm. marriage, call back your wayward children, yes. cancel the assignment of death from off of your bloodline, interrupt My sickness God. out of your bloodline. Come on, somebody declare, I am not at a disadvantage, but I shall be a partaker of the wealth of God in this lifetime. Yes, Open yes, the yes. Mouth and declare, it is my winning season. It, it is, is my winning season. Le pan zula bakataya. La pan zen delbe kutunda. Speak, Lord. La pan zen dorobo kutun sataba. I know that some of you, hallelujah, women that are on here, men that are on here, you feel like you're at a disadvantage. My but God. I'm here to shift your mind. I'm here to shift your vision. I'm here to call you into a place. Hallelujah. A place of vision where you see beyond what you see. I'm here to call you into divine insight where you're yes. able to look beyond the trouble and see the outcome and see the fixed situation. Somebody open your mouth and declare, I am an asset. Hallelujah. I am Why an asset. I am why am I an asset? Because I possess the wisdom of God. I yes. possess the knowledge of God. I possess the 
power of God. I am a carrier of his glory. And yes, because yes, I yes. am a chariot, anything that is attached to me, anything that is connected to me, mm. they shall win. They shall live. They Preach. shall thrive. Man, arise in your power and in your authority in the name Ooh, of Jesus Christ. Jesus. I'm Holy here Ghost. to declare that you're going to regroup. I'm here to declare that you're re-strategizing. I'm here to yes. declare that you're re-emerging. Come on, somebody declare, this is my winning season. Season. I can my hear my God. sister. I can hear her in my head declaring this is your winning season. Your winning season. This is my winning Hallelujah. season. I am on the side of the overtakers. I am yes. on the side of them that is more than conquerors. Yes. I am on the side of the champions. I am on the side of the pursuers. I am my on the God. side of the innovators. I am Be on the side son. of the forward thinkers. I am on the side of the intercessors. I am mm. on the side of the worshippers. I am on the side of the skilled warriors. I hear the Lord saying, I'm rewriting lives. I'm yes. rewriting story. I am changing destiny. Yes, so the somebody, goes. I shall partake. I shall God partake. Has declared over my life. Yes, 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 yes. Somebody shall glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory. Yes, Lord, let me say it again. Hallelujah to God. A man that has the ability to use an adverse situation for his advantage is a dangerous man. Dangerous man. Mm -hmm. Lord have mercy. When you can survive a storm, you're dangerous. Yes. <laughs> when you can survive cancer, you're dangerous. Yes, yes. When you can survive a divorce, you're dangerous. Oh, when you can survive bankruptcy, you're dangerous. Speak, when you can survive your wife, hallelujah, having a miscarriage, you're dangerous. Uh, when yes. you can survive burying your children, you're dangerous. Uh, when you can survive uh, uh, your ministry uh, going through the ring, uh, you're dangerous. Mm. Uh, when you can survive losing everything uh, but not losing your God, you're dangerous. Uh, a man that got God and a plan is a dangerous man. Preach. A man that got God and vision is a dangerous man. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, you can touch my body, uh, but you can't mm. kill my vision. Uh, you can touch my body, but Preach. you can't kill my dream. You can take my house, but you Mighty can't God. take my vision. I am not at a disadvantage. I am at an advantage. I am not Jesus. a liability to the kingdom. I am an asset to the kingdom. My Who is God. the Lord speaking to? God is saying to you this morning, you look like your situation is about to swallow you Speak up. But I'm about to cause your situation. Uh, that looks like it's going to swallow you up uh, to bring you to the other side. Uh, the ah, storm yeah, that shot, you're I in, uh, it's not designed to kill you, uh, yeah, but it's designed yeah. to crush you to another side. Uh, it's Preach. designed to push you in faith. Uh, it's designed to propel side, you Jesus. in greatness. Uh, it's designed to propel you in wealth. Uh, it's designed to propel you in oh, the supernatural. Uh, what you are facing, uh, it looks like hell has opened up its mouth against you. But My what God. hell is doing, hell is pushing you. And hell and Abakoshiai, hell Kati and Zoria Dabahai is sealing the anointing on your life. Preach. Why is hell coming against you so much? Because you are a threat. Why is it one warfare after the next? Because you are a threat. You are a threat to the kingdom of darkness. You are anointed. Here the Lord said, Leverage the anointed and oh. leverage the anointed. Use the power that you got yes. and cancel every assignment of the enemy. When them think you're dead, God, God is reversing God. you. When they think you're out for the count, hey. God is lifting you. Come on, somebody. Come Preach. on, open your mouth and say, though they slay me, yet, yet will I, serve. I trust him. Mm -hmm. Amen. David, in the midst of adversity, he mm. saw an opportunity for God 
to be glorified. Mm -hmm. Let's say that again. David in the midst of adversity in 1 Samuel chapter 30. Mm -hmm. He God. saw uh, the opportunity for God uh, to be glorified when you are able to see God in darkness. Mm. Come on, somebody. <laughs> Lord have mercy. You have the advantage. <laughs> when Lord you are Jesus. able to see God in sickness, <laughs> you God. have the advantage. <laughs> Come on, someone just put it. I have oh, the advantage. Jesus. When you are able to see God, even when your children is smoking gun job, <laughs> mm. even when they're having children out of wedlock, <laughs> even God. when they're laying in the hospital, <laughs> even when you send them away, to call it sweetly save and then Jeez. all of a sudden they come back and they're smoking refund. They're doing Jesus. crack cocaine. Lord have Allah mercy. Allah. You still see God. Because before you left God was God. And yes. before you came back God is still God. Still Do God. not allow what you see to cause your confession to change. Let me tell you Preach. again. Do not allow uh, what you're going through to cause your confession to change. Come on, Abasha. Nah, yeah, 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 Mama. Mama. David, in the midst of adversity, saw the opportunity for God to be glorified. He yes. saw advantage and not disadvantage. David had a winning mindset. Why My was God. he able to see it? He had a winning mindset. He had a conqueror's mindset. He had a victor's mindset. Lord have mercy, not a victim, because a lot of us men like to play victims. Lord yes, have mercy. Truth. I was born without my father. My daddy wasn't there. Tell my the wife is not treating me good. My this and my that. Lord have mercy. It is a white uh -uh. man world. Come on here. Oh, I hear to break that bubble. Tell I hear to bust that up. God he has called that. you. He has anointed you. He has equipped you to change every circumstance and situation. Yes. You just got to shift your mind. You you just got to see yourself as who God has called you to be. Yeah. Yes. Come on, somebody declare, I am anointed. Yes, I am anointed. anointed. Hallelujah. I begin to look at David, and this is a very uh, popular text that we preach from uh, about pursuing and overtaking, uh, about recovering all things. But I want to look at this, uh, not much about the recovery, uh, but about David in a disadvantage, disadvantage way, disadvantage situation, a situation oh that God. was designed to cripple him, a situation yes. that was designed to take him out, cause him to lose his mind, uh, cause him halabo shanda bahasi. Le Penzotia Bakatusha cause him to pack up and run. Lord have mercy. He saw God. Are you able to see God? Yeah, Even when the lights are turned off, are you still able to function as a man? Function as a leader. Function as the head of your household uh, when no ah, money is shaka. here. Uh, are you still able uh, to encourage and word. lead? Are you still able uh, to go into the presence of God when the doctors come and tell you, uh, hallelujah, yes, preacher, you just came off the street. Uh, yes, preacher, uh, you just came from preaching. Uh, you just laid hands on somebody else and they recover. Uh, and you walk into your house uh, and your wife drop. Uh, hallelujah, your children start to have seizures. Uh, you Come on the demonic attack. Are you still able to go before the throne of God and say, God, what must I do? I'm here to tell somebody today, if you are able to see God in the midst of darkness, you have already overcome. The yes. Bible, the Bible, the Bible says uh, that we are more than conquerors, conquerors uh, through Christ, Christ Jesus that strengthened me. Uh, David declare, I will bless the Lord at all, at all times. times. Yes. And his praise shall continually, shall continually be in my mouth. Praise. Is there anybody in this Hallelujah. room uh, under the sound of my voice uh, that is able to praise God uh, when death 
is surrounding you. My able God. to lift up a worship when you're on the verge of bankruptcy, Love when you're Sunday. on the verge of a divorce, when Ooh. you're laying between a rock and a hard place. Oh. I'm here to Love tell you that if you can praise him in it, Hallelujah. you have already overcome. If you can worship him in it, he will download in you the strategy for your mm. next somebody declare my mindset is that I am not at a disadvantage, Preach. but I am at an advantage. I am not a liability. I am an I'm asset. asset. David I was a able shot. to see. Hallelujah, the outcome before he went to God. He know that if he did not move in God, Ooh. that defeat would set in. Come on, Holy somebody. Gosh. Who is the Lord speaking to? Change the way that you look at your situation Ayah, and Masha see Allah. God in the midst of it. Open your mouth and Lord declare, Jesus. it is my season of winning. It is, it my, is my season, season of, winning. of overcoming. It is of my overcoming. season of accomplishing everything that God has mandated on my life. It yes, is my yes, season yes. of divine healing. It is my yes. season of conquest. It is yes. my season. It is my season. It is my season of God. Come on, somebody. Yes. David, he developed the character Mighty God. of an emerging man from the environment of his wilderness. Come on, somebody. Let me say that again. Jesus. You got to learn to use the season where it seems like nobody know you and be mm -hmm. developed. Are you hearing me? Go ahead, learn sir. Go ahead. God. Learn who you are in God. Mm. Learn your weakness. Learn your strength. Ah, yeah, 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 when yeah. David was out on the backside, tending to his father's sheep, contending against lions, tigers, and bears, Lord have mercy. He, he developed the mindset of a winner. Yes. He developed the mindset of a more than a conqueror. My God. He developed the mindset of a victor. He developed the mindset of a champion. Jesus. He developed the mindset of, of one that have vision and insight. A person that have vision and insight. When they walk into a dead situation, they're able to see life. Yes. David came from the battle mm. with his man. Entered into the place where he left his family secured. I Let them secure that he come back from the distance. Can you imagine? All you're seeing is smoke. Can you imagine? You leave your house, you go on to business to do the work of the Lord, and you're driving home. And before on, 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 on the borderline of your community. And Prophet, we're not hearing you. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Ah, God, could you unmute your mics and come in the room and give them some praises? Praise God. You're unmuted, sir. You're muted. Can't hear you, sir. Hallelujah. 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 H
We thank you for your words. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your transformation. Unmute your mic, sir. Can't hear you. Praise God, even now we plead the blood. Mighty God, the blood, 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 the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood, we plead the blood, we plead the blood, we plead the blood of Jesus, even now. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, oh God. Every disruption now, even now, God. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, every endurance, Jesus. Oh God, every interference, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I call it to cease and desist. Oh God, release your word, release your bread. Mandula bosia masandai. Touch his system now. Cash and I. Bam, release. Ila boshi. Ila boshi. Atayama. Sandai. The audio kush. Atayama. Oh God, you are God of everything. In everywhere, in everything, Lord Jesus. In every place, you are God, Almighty God. Ila boshi. Ila boshi. Atayama. Before technician. Technology, God, you are God. In technology, you are God. And after you be God, praise God. Touch it now, Kashandai. With your blood in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Mighty God, in Jesus' name. Release now, Jesus. Your word for your people. Release the bread of heaven now for your people. Mighty God. Mighty God, mighty God of Daniel, have your way, Jesus. Release Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Come on in the room and let's shout the name of Jesus. Unmute your mic and let's shout the name of Jesus. Praise God. Unmute your mic. The name of the and the word of God says, uh, this morning we see Jesus. We see your Lord even now. Hallelujah. Go ahead, prophet. Go ahead, prophet. Go ahead, sir. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Pray. David, in the midst of his situation, God Almighty. Hallelujah. In the midst, amen, of coming from a place of victory, amen, stepped into, amen, a place where 
defeat was. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Hallelujah. The devil is a liar this morning. Can yes, you imagine? Glory be to God. Can you imagine you are coming from, hallelujah, doing the will of the Lord and yes. on the outskirts of the vicinity of your, your community, people come and meet you. Hallelujah. And begin to tell you, hallelujah, your house has been burnt down. Lord, Lord have Jesus. mercy. Your mm. house has been destroyed. Your family, your children, your wife has been captured. Hallelujah. My and God. those that are with you, hallelujah, not only you, but it also happened to those that came along with you. Come I on, somebody. A... Can you imagine? Uh, hallelujah, how David must have felt. Uh, they was God. weary. Uh, they were beaten. Andorobo, they were beaten. Come on, somebody. Uh, they were coming from a place of battle. Uh, they were My coming God. from a place, hallelujah, uh, where all they wanted to do was come home and get a nice cup of tea. Uh, come yeah. home and take a bath. Come home and talk with their wives. Uh, talk Lord with their Jesus. children. Uh, come home and rest. But in the midst, of coming from victory, uh -huh. they entered into a place of defeat. Yes. But David was able to see, even in the midst of defeat, I see God. Even yes. in the midst of the smoke, I see God. Mighty even God. in the midst, hallelujah, of uncertainty, I see God. Why? Hey. Because I am not a liability. I am an asset. asset. I am at an advantage. I'm not at, at a disadvantage. Come on. David began to encourage himself. The yes. men look at him. They wanted to stone him. They My wanted God. to beat him up. But Lord David Jesus. had to slip away. And he called for the ephod. Somebody remember your position. Ayabushan, remember Ayabushan. your posture. It is a mm. hard thing to come against a man. It's a dangerous thing to come against a man that know the value of prayer. My a man God. that knows how to pray has the ability to change his environment environment, uh, have Preach. the ability to change the situation, uh, have the ability to tap into power that he didn't know he had, uh, yeah. because he's not relying on his power, uh, but he has a source that is unmovable, unstoppable, Satan, I bind your powers now, uh, in the name yeah. of Jesus Mouth Christ Jesus. of Nazareth, come on somebody, uh, I declare in the name of Jesus, uh, hallelujah, that there is a turn around happening for you now. Yes. I declare in the name of Jesus uh, that in the Preach. midst of adversity uh, God is arising. Uh, in the midst My of God. the door being closed uh, God is Be arising. Uh, in the midst uh, of the swelling's flood I declare it is well uh, with your soul yes. and that you are coming out on top. Uh, it's your hour and it's your season. Come on somebody. David called for the ephod. He my got God, into the presence God. of the Lord. And he said, God, what must I do? Shall I pursue? And shall I recover? Come on, somebody. The Lord said, my yes, God. my son, I have given you the advantage. Pursue. Yes, what yes. does it mean? Pursue. To have an advantage. Advantage means mm. superiority of position or condition. Yes. Your condition that you're in has conditioned you to overcome. And My The God. condition of your environment hallelujah, has sealed your faith as an overcomer. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Preach. Though it looks like it's against you, it is working yes. for you. For the Bible My says, God. Knowing this, uh, that all things work together uh, work. for good yes. to them uh, that love That's God and to them love that love. is called yes. according to his purpose. Uh, somebody don't lose your love. Uh, don't lose your passion. Don't lose your praise. Don't lose your worship in a disadvantage, disadvantage situation. For your praise set you apart. Your worship set you apart. Your, preaching, sir. your love for God set you apart. Preach. Even when the door closed, you're Allah still Allah more Allah. than a conqueror. Yes. Even when they reject you, you're still more than a conqueror. Mighty for the God. rejection of man 
is the promotion of God. Yes. The rejection of man <laughs> is the elevation Ooh. of God. The yes. rejection of man is the occasion that God will use. Hallelujah. To bring greatness out of you and let you know Lord you Jesus. always had it. Somebody say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Mighty David, God. I don't think David has ever had an encounter like that. Are you hearing me? Every other, every situation is different. And it brings yeah. out of you something that you never knew was there, but it was always there. Come on, somebody, David. My God, my God, my God. David says, God, what must I do? The Lord said, Jeez. son, go after them. Pursue and recover. Oh, David and the men started out. And because, listen to me, I don't know what is going on. I'm here in this study, but the devil is a liar. Don't know if it's coming from my end, but the devil is a liar. Shandorobosa. Ketiaraba sundirebihi shandi bahaya. David. David recognized that even though I was in a place that looks like defeat, I was My still God. at the advantage. David says, on his journey, he started out. He had a few hundred men with him. I want to tell you this. When you learn your strength, you'll realize that you won't, you don't need as much people with you as you do. Lord Jesus. You can conquer more with less than you can with plenty. Are you hearing me? For yes, little sir. is much when God is in it. Yes, I know that you're the contractor. I know that you're the secretary for your business. I know that you are the foreman for your business. Your I know preacher. that you are the accountant for your business. But God that, yeah. says, I will do more with less yes. than I can do with plenty. He said, when you learn to master this, then I will add on to you. Preach! Hear me, somebody. He said, what when you learn word. to master your payroll, then I will add more employees. Come on, somebody. When you learn to master mm. your skills, come on, Lord have mercy. When you learn to delegate, then I will add to you. Come on, Lord David. Jesus. David, David realized. And he said, listen to me, I know that you're weak. I know that you are, you are, you're tired. You'll stay here. I'll go over here mm -hmm. with them. Lord have mercy. And David began on his journey and he met this young man, this Egyptian, Lord have mercy. God will always have somebody with the strategy of the enemy to give you the advantage. Are you hearing me, somebody? Just My stay God. the course, just stay the course. And the man said, listen, I, I fell ill and my master left me. When did you fall ill? Three days ago. I'm here to tell you, resurrection is coming in your life right now. Yes. Shanda Bahasaya. Resurrection is entering into your vicinity. And I David says to the man, tell me what I must do. Tell me where they got. The man said, hold on. If I tell you this, promise you won't kill me. Promise you won't take me out. I'm here to tell somebody. When God give you the advantage against your enemy, don't kill the one that God used to help you. Lord, Lord have mercy. He may not have looked like you. He may not sound like you. But God gave him a word in his mouth. God gave him the strategy. I decree and declare that before this week is over, before this month is over, God is going to cause you to connect with destiny helpers. I call for the destiny it. helpers. They're not going to look like what you are used to, but they're going to come with the word of the Lord in their he mouth. To tell you. They're going to come with the answer for you. Come on, somebody. They're going to help you get your children in the school. They're going to help My you God. in the embassy. You're about to rub shoulders with the who of who in I the marketplace. Are you hearing me, somebody? You're about Hallelujah. to come in contact with somebody that is in parliament. You're about to come in contact with somebody that is a governmental official that Be works in the building set of the government. You're about to come in contact with somebody that works in the housing sector. 
sector. You're about to get your mortgage. You're about to get the contract to build the houses. You're about to get the contract to make the clothing. You're about to get the phone call to go to the embassy. Come on, somebody. The Lord is speaking to you today. Yes, they're going to come. They're not going to have natural hair. They're not going to have long hair. They may even have a nose ring in their nose. They Lord may Jesus. even have five earrings in one ear. But they are Speak your destiny those. helper. They may wear cut up jeans, tight pants. Hallelujah. Mm. Uh, sleeveless, but they're coming to help you uh, to yes. get to destiny. Uh, are you hearing me, somebody? Uh, I receive don't it. forget them when you walk through the door. Come on here. Hey, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. God is giving you uh, the advantage. Uh, he's putting you in an My advantage God. place. Uh, he's putting you in a place of great Come on, your destiny helpers are coming. This individual was able to aid David and the man to overpower the enemy when they were gall gallivanting, when they were celebrating their conquest. David oh, was able to set a besiegement up on them. I'm here to tell somebody, don't miss a God moment. Preach. Don't miss a God moment because of your custom. Don't miss a God moment because of your tradition. Don't I miss a God shot, moment because of where you were born. Open My your God. eyes and see the working of the Lord. Yes, In yes, the yes. 11, he said, I am sending salvation. He said, when you hear my voice, harden not your heart. Not your Today, heart. I have come to your house. Today, I have come to deliver you. Yes. Today, I have come to set you free. Salama Somebody salai. say, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. David, David, David entered into the camp and the bible says that david and the man slew them from morning till evening until the next day listen to me whatever the enemy has touched you're about to get it back with interest i receive it the bible said that david took all the flocks and herds which they have drave, drive before those of the cattle and said, this is David's spoil. Oh my God. This is David's spoil. He left some of the men at the place, the brook, Beshore. And when I took the pleasure of looking up Beshor or Beshor, B-E-S-O-R. It is translated as cheerful. Mm -hmm. Cheerful. I'm here to tell you that in your season of emerging, you shall cheerfully partake with us. Let me say that one more time. God has brought you to a place of cheerfulness. It doesn't look like joy is there. My God. There. It doesn't look like your situation is yielding. Lord, have mercy benefits to you. But I'm here to tell you today, hallelujah, that in the midst of the recovery, you shall have exceeding great joy. This is the thing that got me this morning. After conquered and they begin to go back, the men that fight in the battle and those that were left behind because they were weak, those that were with David in the battle turned around and said they did not come the distance with us. 
So My they God. should not partake. I'm here to tell somebody today, even if you went part way, God says that you shall also partake of the promise. Mm. He said, none shall be left behind. Lord have mercy. Mighty God. Lord have mercy. He said, you shall also partake of the spoils of the enemy. You Lord are Jesus. at an advantage because you are in line, connection with me. My God. Who is the Lord speaking to? Mm. You may have just come in the church, but you're about to get a crown. Are yes. you hear me? Mighty you're going to get a crown. Lord have mercy. You may have just been born in the family, but Allah you are Allah. at an advantage. You're I'm here to declare sir. to you, you shall partake with us. Ah, you have emerged from the situation that was designed to cap you, destroy you, My witchcraft God. can kill you. Lord have no, mercy. No, no, no. The rape, the molestation couldn't take you ah, out. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Somebody. The rejection couldn't take you out. God Almighty. My God. Almighty. The God. diagnosis couldn't take you out. Ooh, you have goes. purpose on your life. Yes. I declare to you today that salvation has come to you and God has rewrote your name. Somebody. Rapan zibon si taban zibon si bon si bon si bon si bon si ti andere be kunti ala ba kati ala bushandia. You were born to dominate, mm. to dominate. When you recognize the authority of God in your life, you'll be able to call those things up out of your spirit. What God has declared is yours. You are yes. able to look at a dead situation and declare, I come not in my power, but I come in the resurrected power of Jesus Christ. Come my on. God. I declare that your business is thriving. I declare that your healing is guaranteed. I declare that your breakthrough is sealed by the power of Jesus Christ. Christ, your season shit. I receive it. You shall in Jesus' name. I receive with it. With us in Jesus' name. Can I Tibo see Katai? Yerebesh and David says, We as a people are going to partake as one. My as God. One. What seems like a loss. I'm here to declare to you, it's not a loss, but it's an advantage yes. for you to possess and for you to overtake and for you to dominate. My Let God. the house of the Lord open your mouth and give God praise. Come on and declare Hallelujah. it. Hallelujah. Come on, open your mouth. Hallelujah. I'm an asset. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Open your mouth. 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 Chris, I don't know who you are. Your name is moving real fast. I don't know where you are. I don't know who you are. But I'm here to tell you that you are at an advantage. Glory to God. I declare to you breakthrough, sir, in your life, in your circumstance. I declare a turnaround in the midst of of you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I decree it. I declare it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that what you have been going through, I declare it comes to an end in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah to God. Come on, somebody. Help me the man. You shall partake with us. Father, every in the name son, of Jesus. Hallelujah. Every uncle, every 
Father that is represented here on this platform right now. God, whether it is a Chris, it's a Garfield, it's an Anthony, it's a Malcolm, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Father, hallelujah. It's a Christian father. Hallelujah. It's a Christopher. I declare whatever their names are. I declare God that you locate them. A David, oh, locate Jesus. David. A Daniel, locate Daniel. A Rahim, a Rashan, a Rashi, a Rashim. Father, hallelujah. I release the glory and the grace of the Lord over them now. Father, In the name a of Ken, Jesus. A Kenneth. A Burke, Father, hallelujah. Father, I release grace over them. Hallelujah. A Malik, hallelujah. I release favor over them. And I declare in the name of Jesus, a Andre, a Andrew, I declare the grace of the Lord over yes. their lives. And I speak, mighty God, that they shall flourish. A Tyler, a Curtis, mighty God of Jesus, a Tyrone. I change them. Father, I cover them under the blood in the Mighty name of Mighty God, Jesus. in the name of Jesus. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, a Quinton, I declare over them this morning, Lord God, I'm a, a Terrell, a Tariq, I cover them under the blood, a Winston, I cover, a Stephen, yes. a Stephan, Stephanos, I Call cover them out. under the blood, Judah, Chad, I cover under the blood, in the name of, of Jesus. Jesus Christ, of Nazareth, oh God, a Evan, oh God, I cover under the blood, and Call I them speak out. over them, Xavier. God, I cover under the bar blood. Perez, Daniel, Jonathan, Janelle, Kata Shiba Uku, Rahan Zenderebendongu Shaya, Peter, John, Mark, Luke. Oh God, call them out. I cover under the blood in the name of Jesus. Sean, oh God, Shane, I cover under the blood of Jesus. Kwanza, in the name of Jesus. Iva, Patrick, Lord, I cover under the blood. Stuart, In the name of Jesus. God, I cover under the blood. Delroy, oh God Almighty I Jesus, am under the blood. Edemen Zura Makataya, Donovan, Kevon, Kevin, Ken Roy, Lord, have mercy. Yes. Oh God, under the blood. Kemar, under the blood of Jesus Christ. Errol, Ketambandokusa, Douglas, under the blood, Anthony, under the blood, Bernal, yeah. Ninval, under the blood of Jesus Christ, I put the blood upon them, Winston, Oh, Joshua, Lord of mercy, Jeremiah, Katia, Isaiah, Katashama, Elisha, Ketan Zerebe Kutunda, Repan Ziban de Kosha, Nairon, Nemo Shandabah, Mighty God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Man, and I release yes. the blood over them. I speak Call them that out. they shall emerge. I speak yes. that they shall come up. I speak that they shall walk in power. In yes. the name of the Jesus. Name of Jesus. Mm. Be a victor. Yes. And not victims. I declare that we are mm. conquerors. Father, My God. The enemy is after the seed, the carrier, the incubator, the dispenser of the seed. But I declare divine covering. Yes. The adversary is trying God to distort the value, the purpose of man. My God. But today, in the name of Jesus Christ, Yes, we put a halt to it. Oh God, we call for it. the anointing of Daniel mm. to sit upon them. My the God. anointing of the overtaker, an excellent spirit to sit upon them. I declare it to be so today. 
in the name of Jesus. We yes. release salvation to our unsaved men in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. My God of Nazareth. Be blessed, be covered, be lifted. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Jesus name. As you type your son, your husband. In Jesus' name. Nephews, names in the chat. Hallelujah. We declare that the arresting, healing power of God, the saving power of God, will reach them now. In Jesus' name, divine authority. Over to you. God bless you, sir. God bless you. In the name of Jesus. Come on and give God praise right where Hallelujah, you are. Hallelujah, Jesus. Seal this with a praise. Open your mouth. Hallelujah, what a word. Jesus, thank you, Lord. Oh, God. 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 Mighty God, what a word Glory. this morning. Hallelujah. Go ahead, One prophet. Go ahead. I'm so sorry. That's fine. Go um, ahead. Father, listen. I just got up and I walked away and I hear the Lord said, get back there. There are many of you that have your sons that are, some of you are waiting on your sons to come home. Some of you are waiting on your sons to come into their rightful position in God. Some maybe even incarcerated. God says, change the way how you speak concerning them in their adverse situation. He said, change the way how you speak concerning them. He said, because what you speak concerning them is forming their world, even when they're trying to break forth and come forth and make a change because of the word that you have spoken over them. Amen. Hallelujah. It has already sealed their faith. David, in the midst of the situation, even though the man was speaking against him, he found strength. And the Bible said that he encouraged himself in the Lord and he began to speak his destiny. He began to speak his outcome. So today, if you are a mother, a father, an auntie, a, a, a adopted mother, hallelujah, and you've spoken negative concerning your children, your son, I want you to change that language now in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's not the prayer. Amen. After intercessor is going to do it, but it's in your mouth to change their situation. It's in your mouth. Amen. To change what you have spoken. Open your mouth and repent. Atashe. Lord have mercy and declare even though your son is smoking the reaper declare he will preach the gospel uh, even though your son, glory to God, have children out of wedlock, declare that he shall marry, he shall settle down are you hearing me somebody, my son will not be a murderer mm -hmm. come on somebody you need to begin to speak that, he will not die before time, come on 
Yes, you're saved, but your husband is not saved. I need you to change it. I need you to change it. I need you to change it and begin to declare, amen, that they're not at a disadvantage, but they are at an advantage. Are you hearing me? Speak healing, speak deliverance over them. Are you hearing me? Hear the word of the Lord. I declare they shall partake with me in the kingdom. They shall partake with me in the kingdom. Declare it. They shall come from being in a place of disadvantage to a place of advantage. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We worship the Lord. But I seal it by the power and by the blood of Jesus Christ. We declare it now in Jesus' name. Come on, as you're in the chat, I just need you to praise him. Right there, worship the Lord. So somebody's going to get the news in this week that your son, your husband has decided to give their life to the Lord. That their situation is turned around. That their scholarship has approved in the name of Jesus Christ. That they've been accepted in the school. Hallelujah. Though it looked like it was closed, they're getting ready to get the call. Now you hear me. Glory to God. Come on, open your mouth. Let your fingers do the praising. Yes, Lord. We say yes. We say yes. We say yes. We say yes. We say your nephew's life is turning around. Come on, hallelujah. Your sons are coming from the riotous living and they're coming back into the kingdom. We declare it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We say yes to the Lord. We say yes, Father, I thank you. Oh God Almighty, and I pray even now, dear God, that your grace, your glory, your power will seal these, your people, and will usher them into a new place, a new authority, a new dimension in you, in the name of Jesus. I declare your blessing in Jesus' name. I'm going to ask everybody to do this. I wasn't asked to do this, but I'm going to ask everybody to do this. To sow a seed on this word. Amen. I'm not going to tell you the amount, but I'm going to ask you to sow a seed on this word and seal it. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. I declare, glory to God, whether it's $30, hallelujah. U.S., amen, work it out to the equivalent for Jamaica or to the equivalent for Canada or England. Glory be to God. Put up the, the, the information for giving, amen. Because many times, amen, a word is given, amen, and we don't seal it. Yes, we seal it with a praise, but you need to put something tangible up on it, hallelujah, in the earth, whether it's 30, 100, 50. Are you hearing me? Come on, everybody, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I declare, amen, that the word of the Lord is established and that every male in your bloodline, every curse against them is broken. Amen. I declare that they are emerging. I declare that they are walking as the head. I declare that they are successful. I declare that they are above and not beneath in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I decree and declare it to be so in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. If you're on YouTube, hallelujah, I need you to sow. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Connect with this word in the name of Jesus Christ. If you're here on the Zoom platform, I need you to sow in the name of Jesus Christ. And we declare, amen, that as it is released, glory to God, we shall begin to see changes in the midst of our male, our sons, our nephews, hallelujah, our husbands, in the name of Jesus Christ. We decree it and we declare it to be so in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Please put up the giving so that I can release my seed in the name of Jesus. Glory 
to God. Abashande kusa, labasoti arabashande. Back into your hands. Glory, kiban suku rabansi kiere rebo shaya. Rapanzete rebo sha. 